to Milton E. Proby Parkway. What's good, YouTube? You feel me? Back with one of them stupid videos. Today a good day because I'm picking up one of the 85 motors, the 350X. Uh, yeah. Take a slight right turn. Oh, shut up. We headed to gyms right now to pick that up. Enjoy in two miles, turn left onto South Powers Boulevard. Right, I appreciate everything Jim do, but uh, I'm ready to get this motor back in there. It won't probably be today because the sun is about to set. It's about to go down. So this video will lead into tomorrow, and I'm going to get that motor installed, get this process going, get it through a cycle, and hopefully get to rip it eventually here soon. But yeah, so uh, we headed to gyms right now to pick that up. I got him to do something real quick. Other than that, I'll catch y'all when I get there. Probably speak to Jim a little bit, see what's popping. But uh, I'll catch on in a second, so uh, yeah. Rise and shine, we finna get to it. I could barely sleep thinking about putting that motor in. Here she go right here. You see she don't got no heart, no soul. So we're gonna get to that. And uh y'all just bear with me. I'm gonna try to get it in there as quick as I can. Motor looks beautiful. No, I ain't getting no repainted job or no crap like that. I don't care for that. Here she is. Reason this got changed because my old two cases right around this area right here. They both were had a huge crack. I did a temporary JB weld on it. It didn't even hold up. But uh I'm glad I got these new new cases. They're not brand new but new to the motor. So now we don't have none of that. Fully rebuilt. Because he had to break everything down just to remove those two cases, the mid cases. Now everything's good to go. So let's get to it. Pop this bad boy in there and see what we can do. As you see, we got the engine right here. Let's get to it. It's going to take some time, so I might do a time lapse. Y'all bear with me. We're going to get this thing in there. Hopefully, we get it fired up today. So, uh, yep. So we got it in. We just gotta get these uh these um mounting brackets and everything on there. Get it bolted in and then go from there. God damn I'm tired. But we'll get it done though. All right, so we got the motor in there. We got the mounts all locked up. Good, good. You gotta start adding on everything. This is a chain, hook up these connectors, stuff like that. Hook up the carb, drop some fresh oil in it, start the heat cycle. Break it in, yes sir. All right, so update. I thought I was recording, but I wasn't. As you see, motors in, all the bolts, everything, chain on, uh, all the mounts are tightened. Everything's pretty much plugged in besides the spark plug. Carb still not on yet. Um, oil lines hooked up, all that good mess. Even put the full exhaust system on, heat shield. Uh, 
what else, what else? Didn't pick oil or anything yet. Pit the, um, I'm, I'm tongue twisted right now. But yeah, I put the skid plate back on. Uh, da, 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 da. Hooked up the clutch cable. I realize I'm missing my, uh, I forgot what it's called. It goes all the way up here and over here. Uh, but it's at my mechanic's house. We just have to pick it up sometime, probably today. Uh, other than that, I don't know if I'll be able to get her running today yet. I'm gonna dump some oil in her, put on the kick lever, get some stuff moving in there, get it lubed up. And then uh, once I get this cable and I put everything else on, such as the carb, the tank, um, we'll try to get her fired up. But I'm very happy that my baby's back together. I'm always definitely happy about it. So close to being done and just turning her over and sparking her up. But uh, yeah, she's dirty, but hey, she's a rider. Uh, but yeah, so hopefully I'll hear back from Jim here soon and I can shoot over to this house to pick up some stuff. And uh, yep, yeah, so I'm finna dump some oil in here and get her looped up. All right, got the kick lever on there. Last thing is plastics. Drop some oil in there. Call it good. All right, cool, cool. That's that. Drop some oil in there. I'm gonna go drop, go get some fresh gas. So let's do that real quick. Uh, All right, almost close to starting her up. Empty one, just a not even a pinch of it left, just a bit, just to see where we're at. Cool, cool. Let that go down soon. I'm dirty. Yes, sir. So close to being there. So stinking close. Look at that gal. That gal got a nice rear end. All right. Oh. We got a napkin, napkin, that's what I was gonna grab. But this is the last look over for an attempt to first start up. I thought I put some gas in it. So, uh, yeah. Just stand over there. can't see but we have a oil started just pissing down here from this uh oil filter cover so i'm gonna get this off see if both o-rings are actually in there and the condition of them uh jim said he might have forgot which is that's not good but um yeah so let me see what's going on here and i'll get back all right you so this is i believe the issue you can see it the O-ring in there is a lot of room between the O-ring, as you see. Like, the o ring is supposed to fill up the whole thing. That way, when you put the cover on, it just, like, it keeps all the oil and everything because that's where the oil is seeping from. So, I'm going to run to the hardware store to see what O-rings I can find. to probably replace this one. It's just too much room, as you see. I'm gonna clean this up a bit more. So, uh, yeah, I believe that's the issue. If you see the gap in there, and uh, hopefully this solves everything. All right, so got the O-ring out. It's pretty thin, and you can see just the comparison on the outside. 
how thin the o-ring is to where it's supposed to sit at so i just went to ace i got a few o-rings in here we're gonna see if one of these will do it Let's see. got a couple of them a lot thicker a lot thicker than the one that was in there so uh let's hope one of these sit better so got it on there as you can see fits in there as it should hopefully this solves the problem took up all the space unlike this thin one here it was just way too thin so yeah jim did not forget nothing i was counting on him because he's he's a professional hunter. all right so i made it back home um Pop the new O-ring on there, as y'all seen. Fits a lot better. So we're gonna get this bad boy installed. Put it back in there, clean everything up. And hopefully that does it. So, uh, yep. All right, got it all cleaned up. I'm gonna fire back up. And if we find any more leaking, then that means it's something, either the same thing or something else because I just wiped it pretty pretty good. Um, everything wipe, skid plates off. Just to be on the safe side, see nothing. See nothing. Yeah, nothing. Um, well, uh, yep, let's get to it and see what's going on with this bike. Still got 30 seconds left. What's good, YouTube? As you see, it's another day. And uh, today's Easter, so happy Easter to everybody out there. We actually took the barbecue. And, uh, yeah, got a couple things going on. So uh, yeah, I'm finna finish breaking it in, doing the heat cycle. I'm almost done with it. And it kind of short because it's cool down top. Lead, that, lead it into nighttime. It's real windy out here, so I'm sorry if y'all can't hear me. But uh, yeah, I'm running a few more times and then call it good. Just to wrap up this video i mean that was pretty much everything it was a hassle getting it in everything's back going smooth there's a little smoke and that was only because from what uh he was telling me it was like the lubrication and some of the stuff and the oils that he pit around the cylinder just to make sure everything moves smoothly but it already burned off it's not even smoking anymore and plus if it was like tremendous amount of smoke then obviously that's a problem but no it's it's nothing crazy um, but yeah, huge shout out to Jim for that. I appreciate that. Um, so yeah, I'm glad I have one of my exes back alive. And now, <laughs> that sounds funny, my ex. But uh, one of my 350 exes. And uh, now we're just waiting for the other one to be done. So yeah, stay tuned for that. We'll have the other one done here very soon. I'll be back riding everything. We're in the process of looking for a truck. So uh, yeah, just bear, me, bear with me with that. I appreciate y'all watching. I appreciate y'all just, you know, being a part of this and uh, mainly for me but i mean if you guys are into it too i really appreciate it, it helps out a lot just to show the the support and you know the courage that you guys have the, the interest that you guys have into the stuff i do it really means a lot so uh, yeah i appreciate y'all for watching stay tuned for a lot of more videos to come i'm actually about to pick up a project tomorrow it's just too much stuff going on at once which i need to just sit down and just focus but uh yeah thank y'all for watching like share comment you guys tell me what you guys think i appreciate it